Hi everyone. Can you hear me? Give me some thumbs up if you guys can hear me. Just trying to adjust the light here. Hope you guys are having a nice Tuesday. Hello, hello. Hey everyone, it's Tiana from the Maniology team with our weekly live. Every Tuesday at 1.30 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time, you can find us here on another nail stamping journey. So whether it's a tutorial, technique, or hack, we're here to discuss the details, and I'm so happy you could join me today. So, so yesterday's live, if you missed it, we did um, an unboxing of our newest Manny by Me Planetary Explorers, and I did a little sneak peek of the colors you see here. And um, some of you actually got it right. So, um, but anyway, we'll just dive right in. And thank you so much, Debbie, for the compliment on my nails. This is using a plate that we currently have online. Um, shoot, I'm missing the plate number right now in my head, but this is our swirl plate. So yeah, I'm really enjoying the duality of um, these nails. So if you enjoy our videos and the content we share, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on these lives. And if you can't make it, don't worry. All of these videos will be on our YouTube channel right after. And today I am back with another Maniology Tries episode where we explore products from other nail brands and stamp on it. And today's episode will be trying ILNP. So ILNP boutique nail polishes have been in the game for a long time creating beautifully curated shades um, specializing in holographics, flakies, multi and duochrome wonders. <clears throat> So it's a no-brainer that um, when I saw their newest Spring uh, 22 collection, Cloud9, um, that it was on pre-order, I just needed to jump on that. So I will go ahead and show you basically the box that it came in. Really simple. This uh, beautiful holographic seal here that has their logo. And you know, I'm always impressed um, shipping because, you know, we're located in Hawaii. So, you know, a lot of times there's shipping restrictions like, oh, we don't ship to Hawaii, even though we are a part of the United States, um, you know, or the cost for shipping is more, you know, yada, yada, yada. So when the shipping comes and it comes quickly, it's amazing. So I, I really enjoyed that. This is how the product arrived in this beautiful kind of plastic secured packaging here. Now, I wasn't gonna make a note on their bottles um, and their new branding, although I have seen some conversation about that. Um, yeah, I've, I've personally been a fan. I have purchased from ILNP before um, for my own personal collection. Um, I don't really have a preference. I, I don't really have a say in uh, the bottle itself. I feel like the bottle is exactly the same. It's just, you know, um, some font changes. And But really, I think as long as the product inside is okay, I'm, I'm okay with the branding. So here i have the cloud nine uh, collection which is a medley of uh, six shades inspired by a cloud filled pastel sky fit for fantasy now i'm going to go ahead and open these colors for you um so we can check it out and kind of lightly explain what it looks like so this is the box i believe this is a new box this looks kind of new to me okay Really nice, sleek, simple. I know people have been talking about this new top. 
here where it has the cursive before it used to have like the what is it the serif font that they used to have here on the top but it still has this like the soft handle here the kind of velvety smooth anyway I still like the bottle I think it's uh, still a great product but we will go ahead and kick this off with fairy floss Look at that nice hollow sticker. Sassy, okay. This, um, this fairy floss is a creamy pastel pink with gold to green iridescent shimmers and subtle holographic twinkle. So you can actually see that flash here on the side. And I love that, so I think that's a nice, can see that yeah I just like to hold up the polish so you guys can see how pretty that is so that's fairy floss the next one I have is dreamscape now when you store your polishes do you guys keep the boxes or do you take it out of the box? I don't know, let me know in the comments. Do you keep these? So this is Dreamscape, which is a pastel lilac nail polish with vibrant orange shimmer and a subdued holographic finish. So again, you can really see like that fire in the holographic right there, that beautiful rainbow. beautiful lilac color. I'll go ahead and swatch these out for you in a little bit as I move on down the line. Next we have Rain Shower. Rain Shower is a creamy pastel periwinkle blue nail polish with vivid iridescent orange shimmer. So if I kind of tilt it that way you can see that beautiful micro shimmers in there that really really kind of give it that signature ILNP um, their polishes are always loaded like you can just trust that you're gonna get a fully a, a, just like a, a really well curated polish my personal faves you know to be honest I didn't kind of come into um, pastels until really recently I feel like in my life <laughs> I've allowed myself to explore so I have a lot of their um kind of darker colors okay so here is the next one this is open skies open skies is a beautiful creamy pink nail polish with a strong iridescent teal shimmer and I feel like if I tilt it a little bit, you can really see that come off. This kind of reminds me of um, bubble gum, like a bu bubble yum, <laughs> kind of like a, uh, I want to say watermelon like, but I love how it has that blue teal tint in the shimmers there. That's so gorgeous. Okay, I got two more. Just moving on down the line here. The next one is um, Harper. And here, so Harper is a soft lavender nail polish with an intense green to gold shimmer and a soft holographic finish. Yeah, so I think you can really see the green to gold there. It has that signature chameleon look. So if I turn it this way, you can really see what that looks like. Oh, I didn't know um, ILNP sells on Amazon. Nice. It's like, what can't we get on Amazon these days, right? And lastly, in the collection, the six piece collection is First Light. Sorry, that was a little blurry, I know. But First Light 
You know, honestly, when I looked at this color, I wasn't quite sure what to make of it. Um, but it reminds me of another color. So anyway, First Light is definitely, it's a milky peach nail polish with a soft red shimmer. So I think you can really see that red flash, that red and gold flash coming through. And I, I'm going to turn it. Uh, I don't think you can really see it in the light here because it just gets washed out. There you go. Can you see that? Almost kind of has like a hot pink look. This color, I'm not sure if you're familiar, but long, 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 long time ago, LNP came up with like a mistake polish. It was, uh, I believe it was a topper called the Magician. They no longer sell that anymore because I think it was like a one one off kind of thing. But if you picked it up, it was a flaky that had um, a, to me a very similar look, except this has like a milky, a milky base. So, you know, this collection is just gorgeous. I would call this kind of crelly ish they are sheer and I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them out for you and we'll do that together but um, I think that's just kind of what you can um, expect from the, the polish so let's go ahead and make a start as I showed you guys yesterday I did go ahead and swatch these colors out prior to here just so I could test them out of course <laughs> So we're going to go ahead, let me just open all of these because so I'll be using them and actually in this order and I'm going to show you the design I plan to do for you guys today. I'm so excited. I know I should stop talking so I can do ASMR. Here, I have fairy floss. This is a, you know, as you can see, it's a clear base, so on the nail. So loaded, though. I love that gold. Gold to green iridescent. So, do you guys have a favorite ILNP polish? Let me know in the comments. One of my favorite Oxblood colors, and I can't give you the name right now, was from um, ILNP, one of my favorites. It was kind of like a go-to color when I couldn't quite figure out what to paint my, my nails. That's the color I went for. So sorry, I'm just moving down the line here and swatching this out for you. So I believe where I'm at right now is Open Skies. That's the last one I just did. So I have Fairy Floss, Dreamscape, Rain Shower, and Open Skies. Now I feel like right now you can't really see much. I mean, obviously you can tell like there's a tint of color, but you know, there, there's not much, especially up against the, the white. Of course, you can see more of that tint. Yes, they are really sheer. I think that's definitely something to expect. So um, it has a light color base, but we will have to do multiple multiple um, coats if we want something that's closer to being opaque. But I do have to say I really love all of the shimmers that are in here. You can really tell. 
I'll just go ahead and shift this. So if you're just joining in, thank you so much for joining us for another Maniology Tries video. And today we're doing ILMP. This is the Cloud9 collection. And today I have Dev online. Everybody say hi, Dev. So I'm going in with the second coat here. So I feel like with Fairy Floss, oh, excuse me. Fairy Floss is looking a little more of that like sheer pink, that creamy pastel pink. Next, I'm gonna be going in with Dreamscape, which is this beautiful pastel lilac color. And this is the second, second coat. So the polishes right now, they are tacky, not fully dry, but you know, dry enough to the point where it's not going to get like super chunky. Again, I'm under studio lights here too, right? So, you know, depending on where you're located, if it's more humid, more hot, you know, that's going to be subject to how fast your polish, polish dries. Okay. That looks nice. This is rain shower. That's a second coat of rain shower. So that periwinkle is really coming through. Next going in with the second coat of open sky. When I had to organize the polishes, I felt like the names were really applicable. So Yeah. So this is the Soft Lavender Harper. And again, you know me, tea loves teal. And I feel like that teal can really, really come through really nicely. Okay. And lastly, this is going to be the second coat of Open Skies the creamy peach which almost looks like a maybe like a creamy white I guess the peach comes through in the red flashes of the shimmer so I think you know if, if this is what you want like you, you could be okay to go out with that um, however I still see some light kind of streaking on some of the colors like say for instance, the um, open skies. But like I said, this is supposed to be a curly. So, you know, it depends on the effect that you're trying to get. Nevertheless, I think this collection is really beautiful. And just because I'm gonna go ahead and do a third coat, cause that's what I feel like um, to make it kind of like opaque, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna start on the third coat here. Try and do this quickly. You guys can see what that looks like. And really, can we ever get enough of all the shimmer? I don't think so. And I think I'm just gonna stop at the third coat because, you know, it's it's starting to get a little chunky too, you know, the more polish you put on. Plus, if you were just gonna wear it like this, then you would still have to put a top coat, right? So. Mm. Mesmerized by all the shiny shinies. Is this a collection you guys think you would wear? Let me know in the comments. But there you go. That is the third coat that I just finished. And one more time before I move on, I'm just gonna go ahead and give you guys the names again. 
This is Fairy Floss, Dreamscape, Rain Shower, Open Skies, Harper, and this is First Light. Okay. So each of these colors, if you're going to go ahead and um, purchase them individually, they're $10, which I think is a steal, actually, for, um, you know, boutique style polish. And um, they actually shipped this to me from Las Vegas. So I'm sure if you're located in the U.S. and you're joining us today, it'll probably come to you in a matter of, like, days. This order came so quickly. So now I have an idea that I wanted to do with you guys. So I am going to do a vertical gradient using all of the colors. When I have a beautiful collection like this, that's what it kind of makes me think of. So you can kind of see the color collection. I mean, the, the color selection I'm going to do. It's going to be a combination of these two colors, these two colors, these two colors, and so forth and so on. So let's go ahead and make a start. I don't have an extra phone flash here um, because I'm using my phone. And, you know, I, I know, I, I think I saw a question come up about, oh, why are they talking about another company? Because, you know, there's so many other companies and stuff like that, and our product. We actually get questions all the time, you know, can we use stamping with something, something? So, you know what? It was just kind of a good idea to maybe start exploring. Perhaps you already have this collection at home. Maybe you don't. And we just wanted to kind of support. There's so many other good companies out there who are putting out really great product that can be used with stamping. So, why not, right? I'm trying to move the light here so maybe you can see what those flaky shimmer micro shimmers look like okay I think that's enough enough showing off <laughs> okay righty so now here I'm going to go in with Fairy Floss. I'm using, like going in the same order. And to do a vertical gradient, instead of using the sponge, I'm going to, and because this is curly too, really sheer, I'm going to just try and blend it out with the brushes that come with the bottle. So now I'm, I'm going to use the Dreamscape and kind of color on the other half and kind of lightly blend those two colors in together so I know it doesn't look like much but there's that so we're just going down the line I'm still using dreamscape here and go with one half of the nail And then I'm going to go in with Rain Shower. Kind of lightly blend those two colors together so there's not like a harsh, harsh line. Okay, using the same Rain Shower. I'm going with the middle finger or the middle tip here. Paint about a little to the middle. And next I'm going in with open skies, which is this peachy color. Okay. Lightly go over. Again, we're trying to blend it out as best as we can. Okay. 
Now with the open skies, I'm gonna go in with what is supposed to be like the ring finger. Go to the middle. Oh. And come in with Harper. That's looking really cute. And now the last color selection is going to be Harper with First Light. Okay. So it looks like a vertical gradient going across the nail. So if you were using it, you would that's what you would see. So now I can go back and do that process over again because this is a bit sheer and I just want to do maybe another coat. Okay. So now <laughs> starting with what would be the thumb going in with fairy floss. So I'm not putting very much on here, you know. I don't want it to be chunky. I'm trying to to blend this in together. Okay. Oh, I think I put a little bit too much on the bottom there. And that was Dreamscape. So you see, I'm trying not to make that too harsh of a line. Okay. Now, still keeping with that Dreamscape. Gonna go in with the second, the second nail here. Yeah, well, I guess you guys are gonna see what it is that I actually stamp over these nails. I thought of clouds too, but I was like, mm, I've already done clouds, maybe not on the live, but recently, so. Okay, so now I have rain shower. Just trying to get off as much polish as I possibly can so it's not super chunky. Yeah. We still want it to have like kind of a soft ethereal kind of feel. Okay. Let me see, I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the dreamscape and kind of soften that line a little. Nothing much, just kind of lightly soften it out. I like how that's coming out. Okay. So let's go in with a little bit of rain shower to get that second coat. Okay. And now going in with that second coat of open sky. Open sky again on the ring finger, going to about the middle of the nail, and moving over to Harper, which is this beautiful soft lavender. A little bit too much. So there, can you see? 
I love the way that's turning out. Give me some hearts if you guys like this. Now for the last, I'm gonna put Harper on the pinky area here. And pinky is small, right? So I don't need much. There you go. And we're ending off at first light. Okay, like I said, we're just gonna Lightly soften that line and make sure it's not like a harsh line. Ooh, I love the way that turned out. <laughs> Emirates, yes. Uh, sorry, I did catch that comment, but I didn't get a chance to um, say anything. Yes, I, I did read that comment. But you're still pretty awesome, though. And if I... I'll probably be that grandma at some point in my life to enjoy Rob Zombie. <laughs> it's so cool that we've developed these uh, relationships with you all, you know, um, coming to join us and kind of continuing on that um, conversation journey that we start <laughs> from maybe a day or like a week before. So thank you so much for clarifying that. I just so happened to lift my head up and saw the comments okay and just because I don't want to mess up my area honestly I should have probably laid this down earlier but I didn't so let me just put down my lotus mat and my little napkin here so right here I'm actually going to use this plate which is m133 this is from our Mystic Woods plate, and it has a lot of these really beautiful, intricate um, designs that look like flowers or foliage, and these are all full nail designs. So I wanted to do one um, kind of similar to my nail, where every nail doesn't exactly look the same. And they're so delicate. The line work is so delicate that I just wanted to... Um, I'm trying to think of a good word that it kind of reminds me of, not stained glass, but um, yeah, I guess you could turn this into stained glass if you wanted to, but kind of lacy, I guess. That's kind of what I was going for, like a garden kind of lacy look. So this is the plate. And Really simply, because I just wanted to just subtly, I'm going to use just Bam White. Today I got my handy dandy ice cube stomper and my scraper. And let me just sniff test this out. Mmm. <laughs> Okay, we're, we're good to stamp. Tacky, but not super uber wet. Okay. My sniff test basically just means that, Tiana, I am a super sniffer, and I just like to, sometimes, you know, you can really smell the alcohol from the polish, and to me, that's a good indication that your polish is still wet. So, I just do the sniff test. So I'm just gonna go ahead at random and stamp these designs on, but I will not be using the same design. Okay, so picks up all those beautiful intricate designs. Gonna go ahead and line that up in the center as best as I can. There you go. There's one. See, that looks so delicate, very delicate, soft. I feel like it still matches with the overall theme 
I didn't go ahead and get my uh, sticky stamper station ready. Let me go ahead and do that. Dainty. That's a good word, Dawn. Dainty. Very pretty. Yes. So I, feel, I mean, I when I look at this collection, that's exactly what the feeling it gives me. So, you know, sometimes you're feeling pretty. I feel like pretty and like badass are two different feelings, you know? So, and that's why I think stamping is so good because it, it really just goes according to the vibe or the mood that you're trying to put off. Mm, let's see, let's do this one. Okay. Pick up that beautiful intricate design. Let's go ahead and try to get that in the middle. Lay it on there. I love how it picks up all of those really fine lines. So Mystic Woods, the collection itself, is supposed to also kind of have like an ethereal kind of woodsy, woodland creature kind of feel. So I feel like it was a good match. And if you're just joining us now, thank you so much for joining in for another Maniology Tries video. And don't worry if you didn't catch it from the top, you can either rewind this video uh, or you can watch it from the beginning when I'm done because this will be live on our YouTube right after this. Do you guys have a, um, a gradient that you prefer? Like a color collect, um, a color selection. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five. Let me know which one is your favorite. I know it's always so hard when I ask you these questions, right? Because it's like, oh, why do I have to choose tea? Why can't I just like all of them? Well, you can. Let's see, I think we do that one. Do you guys want to see me clean this plate after? I feel like sometimes we get comments where it's like, oh my gosh, T, please clean those plates. And I'm like, never. <laughs> I mean, at some point we end up cleaning the plates. That one, I don't know how I got some black on there. That's pretty though. And I'm on the good stamping train today. Thank you so much. Because my ice cube is just like loving me today. Hmm. I feel like I need another floral one. This one is kind of cute. It has like a little flower in the center. The pinky is so small, but I wanted something kind of heavy and intricate. But there you go. That's so pretty. This, I, I think I like this col this um, color gradient. Ah, oh, I don't know, because this one looks really pretty too. 
Okay, and so how do we top off this? What do you call it? Top off this look? We need our smudge-free top coat. Okay. Because we want to protect our stamp design here. I love smudge free especially when you're doing stamping now if you were just going to use the color by itself no problem but smudge free is going to be your best friend when you are doing any type of stamping because it does not smudge your design one three and five Yeah, I know, it's so hard to just narrow it down to one, right? Okay, last nail. Let me just straighten these out. Okay, and of course, you know, we gotta make it look pretty. So let me clean off the space so we can like look at it together. And you guys can let me know what you think. So just know that when you use the um, smudge free top coat, okay, if for some reason you have some kind of top coat that you would like to use, maybe you would like this to be a high gloss finish, which the smudge free does leave a glossy finish. So if that's good for you, you can leave it. Um, but you know, there's so many different top coats out there. If you would prefer to put a high gloss, once this dries, go ahead and put any top coat you want. So if you want to make this a matte, which I think would be fun. I love, love, love the look of a matte top coat over a uh, iridescent or a hollow shimmer. It just kind of lightly like demures the, the shine in it, but it gives it like a different, a different pop to it. I feel like also matte polish is definitely a different mood too. But um, yeah, so if you have a matte polish, once the smudge free dries, go ahead and put your matte top coat over it. But this is pretty much what the finished product looks like. So what do you guys think? Did you like the stamping option? that I chose here? Or would you like to see something else? I really, really love how this uh, vertical gradient turned out with this collection. Thanks, Dev. <laughs> yeah, you know, and another thing too, I feel like with matte is you really have to, if your nails are perfect, meaning perfectly even, you have no bumps, no ridges, and blah, 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 no problem. Um, because matte will show every single nail imperfection you have. So if that sucker is not smooth, it'll show. Um, hence why I like to use gel because, you know, it's self-leveling and it really helps a sister out. Um, but, you know, gloss it helps to kind of hide those imperfections. I also feel like with a top coat too, say for example, if, um, you know, because I didn't use a sponge method, I just used the brush for the vertical gradient. When you use a top coat, it helps to kind of smooth out your, um, the gradient, I feel, you know? So, yeah. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this. I, I'm enjoying 
trying these other products. I think naturally I am such a product girl. Um, it could be down to cleaning supplies, to nail products, to food, to anything. I love trying new things and experiencing all of that. So I love bringing this experience to you and to also show you that you know, snapping doesn't only have to be on maniology products. If you have these polish, these polishes laying around, you've been thinking about purchasing them, that you can use snapping on pretty much any polish that you would like. So this is pretty much going to sign off. Let me just go ahead and see if there's any questions that I can currently um, uh, what do you call answer for you? Sorry, I lost the words. Mmm, you know what else would look nice? A smudge cure base. So if you guys enjoyed this live and would like to see more of this type of content, definitely subscribe. And also write in the comments, do you have any other nail brands you'd like us to try to stamp with? Because yeah, I would like to uh, try this out with you. It's been super fun doing this live. I see some people asking about my nails. Um, I'm using gel, so I'm actually stamping with maniology polish so it's just um straight up black bam white um but as far as the base i'm using gel actually a mix of gel items so and to be honest it's all i can tell you is it's a peachy nude a peachy nude yeah color i don't even know what the name is i recently went on a personal haul for um gel items and stuff so i want to kind of try it out but i'm glad you guys are enjoying this and um this is with a plate that we have in stock right now so i'm just using one plate for all of these designs and if you're curious oh i'm so sorry let's clean the plate together shall we this is M133, that's the plate I use today. I actually had a question yesterday um, about this. This is our pineapple cotton grabber. I'll show you exactly how I use it. So we just grab this here. Sorry. I grab the cotton. Sheesh, where's my acetone? I didn't bring it, hold on. So here I have my acetone bottle. Honestly, for me, I think this is another must have product. I don't even really touch um, cotton anymore, regardless if I have gel or anything. This is just such a great product and tool to have because you know once you've worked so hard on your nails, the last thing you wanna do is mess them up, right? Um, so I think honestly, that's another reason why I kind of got into the habit of not cleaning my plates is because who wants to mess up their nails, you know, just to clean up after you've taken the time to do that. But I understand some people, they have a pet peeve about cleaning. <laughs> so all I'm doing right now is I chucked the one that had all the white polish. So, I mean, you could use the plate just like this no problem but I'm sure you guys want to see it all clean so I have a clean cotton that I pumped some acetone on 100% acetone that's what we recommend to clean your plates and using that clean cotton and acetone that helps to kind of take off and buff the, um, the surface of your plate again that's just like residue of polish kind of left on there. So I just kind of move my cotton around because you know, as it picks up all the polish, kind of need to find another edge. So there you go. 
shiny plate ready to use again. Okay, so it's been super fun doing this live with you. Thank you so much for joining and um, yes, this video will go live onto our YouTube channel right away. So feel free to watch anytime and um, we'll see you guys next week. Thank you. Bye.